Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mental Health Experience. Today I want to talk about something that I think really affects a lot of people. I know it affected me quite often and still does because it's such an ingrained habit and that is complaining. Before we go any further, let's break down complaining. Complaining has an ROI, a return on your investment, of zero. Complaining never gets anything accomplished, ever. It might seem like it on the surface, you know, oh, if we complain enough about this or that, then society will, it's not, it's a false premise. Complaining is not the way to anything, especially good mental health. Providing value through what you found, whether it through, is it through evidence or your experiences and getting through a group of people and whether people listen to you or not is how you go about that. And then accepting if someone doesn't want to listen to you, which was a huge problem with me. I would try and force my opinion down people's throats and I still struggle with this, but I've, I've gotten better, which something, you know, that I needed to get better at because it was just a very negative, toxic influence on my life. So, you know, whether you're uh, in a doctoral program or not, or whether you're complaining about anything in life, you know, no matter what the situation is, stepping back and realizing uh, if you've been complaining about something for a long time, has it gotten you anywhere? More than likely, the answer is no. And even if it has gotten you somewhere, is it the healthiest and most optimal way to go about something in your life? Uh, why, do, why are people so obsessed with complaining? Well, when you think about what's going on in society, everywhere you look, there are people complaining, whether it's the news, whether it's the president, whether it's the anyone in anything social media related, there's lots of complaining. So it becomes normalized in everyday life about, you know, oh, well, these people are complaining. It almost becomes an ingrained habit. So when you've been complaining for so long, how I was, you never have to use any conscious awareness to look at the other side of the coin. I think that's another reason why complaining is so easy. It's because it doesn't take any effort to not to complain. To not complain and sit back for a second, maybe in a moment of silence, and look at something and say, this is a little weird. Um, I don't like it, but is complaining giving me the best outcome potentially possible for my situation? And the answer more than likely 99.9% .9 of the time is no. And this is something that I believe is a big problem, and it's getting worse. Um, more people are complaining. There's more things going on in life, um, more toxic situations and so forth, where people are just complaining at a very rapid pace. I mean, people spend their whole entire day on social media complaining about this and complaining about that. And if you want to live your life like that, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, I don't think it's the best way to live your life, but again, it's your decision, and I can accept you if you want to do that because I complained the majority of my life as well. So this is just something I think we needed to talk about because complaining is so persistent in the society. And uh, something I noticed personally for myself while I was in doctoral school and chiropractic school, people complained a lot. I mean, there was a lot of complaining. Um, it went down to basically every single thing about school. And that complaining doesn't get you anywhere. Whether you're complaining about the teachers or complaining about the homework or complaining about tests, ultimately you have the decision to be there. If you do not like your situation, or don't want to be a chiropractor, then leave. You have the decision to do that. And that complaining that you're doing is just making your experience that much more toxic, um, especially when, you, when you're forced in this situation to be surrounded by people that are being toxic. And it's not easy to get over. And I think it's something, if we all worked on, could potentially increase all of our mental health. Uh, it's just something I believe is, is a very important factor about life. And it was something I really noticed really took a detriment on my mental health uh, in school. So that's just one example for myself. Uh, again, you have to first have the self-awareness to realize you think you're complaining at a rate where it's, you're doing it about everything. Is it affecting your life? And if so, how can you strategically go about that in order to start changing some habits when it comes to complaining? I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This is something very personal for me. Um, I really didn't enjoy how much I was complaining and I've been working on this now for about six months and uh, I still have a lot of work to do when it's not easy. So if you think you complain a lot and you want to change, it's a hard journey, but you're not alone. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day.